It's our top story, the Democratic National Convention kicking off in Philadelphia and getting off to a rough start. Controversy surrounding that email leak about DNC leaders still dominating the headlines. And many Bernie Sanders supporters not ready to accept unity. Karen Travers has more. In an hour and we're already seeing some feisty action on the floor here at the convention. Bernie Sanders supporters interrupting and chanting his name at the first mention of Hillary Clinton. And that was during a prayer. Every mention after that, Bernie supporters are booing. Now, Democrats insist that their convention will be more optimistic, more positive than what they say the Republicans offered last week. So far, they haven't been able to avoid the same drama. Here in Philadelphia, Democratic Party unity being put to the test. That was supposed to be outgoing party chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz gaveling in the convention. Instead, she was a late scratch, an effort to avoid the potential reaction from angry Bernie Sanders supporters. An incredible scene today. Bernie Sanders telling his passionate supporters the focus is now defeating Donald Trump. But the raucous crowd clearly not liking their options. And we have got to elect Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine. Hillary Clinton hit the trail in North Carolina today. Hello, Charlotte. Whoa. This is supposed to be her week. But it kicked off with boos and anger at outgoing DNC chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz. All right, everybody now, settle down. Wasserman Schultz under fire, meeting with delegates from her home state of Florida. The controversy still brewing over those leaked emails showing top Democratic Party officials mocking Bernie Sanders and conspiring to hurt his campaign. Because she has worked against democracy. Ironically, tonight's theme is United Together, the lineup a nod to the Sanders corner of the Democratic Party. Senator Elizabeth Warren, a liberal darling who didn't endorse Clinton until after the primaries, delivering tonight's keynote address. And Sanders himself getting a coveted primetime speaking slot. There will also be a focus on family tonight. A young girl speaking with her mother, who's an undocumented immigrant. First Lady Michelle Obama also speaking tonight, talking about how Hillary Clinton represents her values. Reporting live from Philadelphia, Karen Travers, ABC News. Back to you. All right, Karen, thank you. ABC 7's Haley Wilkes and Alan Cohn were at that Florida delegation breakfast in Philadelphia when the chaos erupted there. Our team coverage of the convention continues with their exclusive footage and reaction to the protests. Good evening, Alan Cohn and I joining you from the Wells Fargo Center at the Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia. Wow, what a day one. Yesterday, we found out that DNC Chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Florida Congresswoman, would not be presiding over the convention in light of the WikiLeaks email scandal. And now, this morning, what a scene at the Florida delegate breakfast. As Wasserman Schultz took the stage, Bernie delegates, Bernie Sanders supporters, stood up yelling, shame, 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 holding signs in what appeared to be a coordinated effort. Some of the signs said emails, and we were right in the thick of that, going live on Facebook in this crowd. It was almost getting a little bit violent, wouldn't you say, Alan? And yes, uh, Haley, and the fact is that this antipathy by Bernie supporters to Debbie Wasserman Schultz has been growing for months because Bernie supporters believe that the Democratic National Committee was just not fair to his campaign. So Debbie Wasserman Schultz came to the floor of the delegation basically to say goodbye, and this is what happened. Debbie Wasserman Schultz came to the Florida delegation's breakfast to say goodbye. I thank President Obama for the honor of serving as the chair of the Democratic National Committee. But no one could hear. Drowned out by shouting, screaming, chaos, and rancor, supporters of Bernie Sanders chased her from the stage. Back that way. Senator, how deeply disturbed were you about what you just saw? It, it shows that we've still got work to do to bring people together. New Jersey Senator Cory Booker addressed the delegation, then left as fast as he could. I, I would say right now, we have a real threat in Donald Trump, and we've got a lot of work to do to beat him. But Hillary Clinton is going to be nominated. She has the votes. He has endorsed her. I just want you all to know. 
Neither candidate has obtained 2,383 delegates. Therefore, it is a contested convention. Not according to Bernie Sanders, who has endorsed Hillary Clinton. Senator Sanders has not conceded his campaign. Coming up tonight, Bernie Sanders will address this convention, and one could only anticipate what he will say. Yes, we are awaiting that. Of course, First Lady Michelle Obama also speaking. She was first anticipated to be the big speaker of the night, but it may be that Bernie Sanders will overshadow her speech. We'll have more on that tonight at 6. Back to you. Thank you both. Be sure to stay with uh, us all week long for the latest updates from the Democratic National Convention. Haley, Allen, and Adam Cellini will be in Philadelphia throughout the week, bringing you the latest developments on air, plus behind-the-scenes looks and exclusive interviews on our Facebook page.